my dear friends welcome back to csr at home in this video we are going to discuss the previous question paper the previous junior scientific assistant examination question paper okay which was conducted on february 2015 okay february 2nd 2015 so i already discussed with you that the previous examination contained three part that means three sections part a part b and part c part a contained general knowledge max and english and part b it contained physics chemistry and biology okay and part c that is optional chemistry for chemistry students okay the the one with chemistry background and biology for licensed students okay the previous junior scientific assistant examination was conducted by kerala pollution control board okay now this is going to conducted by kerala psc so there will be change in the examination pattern okay we can expect uh, general knowledge english and maths then our subject that is environmental science and life science okay life science including microbiology biotechnology biochemistry and biology okay understood so we can discuss the question paper question number 71 this is biology section 71 okay there were 100 questions 71 question the question number 71 crotchfelt jacob disease affect okay it's a type of rare neurodegenerative disease we can write here understood it's a type of neurodegenerative disease it affect brain cells okay it affect brain cells the answer is brain crotchfelt jacob disease affect brain okay it's a type of neurodegenerative disease understood question number 72 an icosahedron is a polyhedron shape of virus with icosahedron means it's a type of capsid structure it's a type of capsid structure there are three type of capsids that means helical icosahedral and complex so this icosahedral is with 20 faces answer is b 20 faces question number 73 the major spoilage agent in low acidic food such as egg here we know the answer the answer is clostridium species okay clostridium species that is the major spoilage agent in low acidic food such as egg it is also associated with canned food okay canned food which one is clostridium clostridium species is associated with canned food okay which clostridium species is mainly associated with canned food clostridium bodleia okay clostridium that is clostridium bodleia is mainly associated with canned food clostridium bodleia question number 74 which type of lens is used to reveal the true color specimen without distorting its shape the answer is apochromatic lens okay that we can discuss in microscopy class the answer is apochromatic lens which question the which type of lens is used to reveal the true color specimen without distorting its shape answer is apochromatic lens question number 75 what is axonic culture in microbiology okay you need to remember you need to study all these terms like axonic culture infusoria then what animalcules etc okay small small terms you have to study okay what is axonic culture in microbiology the answer is pure culture pure culture means culture with only single species of bacteria you remember robert cort experiment on pure culture okay pure culture So study those things okay what is axonic culture axonic culture means pure culture axonic culture means pure culture understood question number 
Question number 76. Who established the basis of modern chemotherapy that we have already discussed in our history and history of microbiology class? So, which is the answer? Paul Ehrlich. Okay, this is the answer. Paul Ehrlich established the basis of modern chemotherapy. He is known as the father of modern chemotherapy. Who is Paul Ehrlich? Understood. Question number 76. The degree to which the detail in specimen is retained in the magnified image is called what it is? Resolution that we know. Okay, resolution. Question number 78. Okay, this one we already discussed in our previous classes. What is the answer? Who introduced the antiseptic principles? Who is, who is the father of antiseptic surgery? Answer is Joseph Lister that we have discussed. Joseph Lister, this is very important. Okay, history and scope of microbiology is very important. Question number 79. Why do we stain microorganisms with chromophore for microscopy? What is chromophore? The chromophore are groups with conjugative double bond that gives the dye its color. Okay, chromophore is the coloring agent. This chromophore can bind with cells by ionic, then covalent, and hydrophobic bonding. Okay. Hydrophobic bonding. So, why do we stain microorganisms with chromophore? The answer is to increase the contrast between specimen and background. Understood? Answer is option C. Okay. To increase the contrast between specimen and background. Question number 80. The optimum conditions for autoclaving. What is the answer that we know? Okay. Temperature 1 to 21 degrees Celsius. That is correct. Okay. So which which correct option A and option C? 1 to 21 degrees Celsius. Minute. The time is. 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. So, answer is 15. Okay, 15, 15. So, A and C again card. Then, the pressure. Pressure here, it is different. Okay, 15 and 5. Which is the answer? 15 pounds per square inch. So, which is the answer? A. Option A is the correct answer. We can continue this section. Okay, just study hard and prepare for the examination. If you like this video, please share and subscribe.